Welcome, everybody, to Sound Bites, the bite-sized podcast about all things snacks. My name is Peter. With me, as always, is my good friend, Chili. Chili, it's... it's Hello. It's a new episode. Yay! Uh, last episode, Skeletor was here. This episode, Chili's back. <laughs> but, Hello, everyone. But we have a guest. We, uh, we have our amazing producer, uh, Susan Sprinkles, here. Hi. Uh, I just want to make a note that um, you say the last episode was Skeletor, but you may not be recording these episodes in order. So you may have to go back a few to look for Skeletor. Just saying. Uh, true. Uh, well, not, I mean, not to last, break any, any wall of the, immersion the last, on this podcast. The last episode we had a guest. Time is warp and space is bendable. The last right. episode we had a guest was Skeletor. Uh, unbeknownst to me, and <laughs> right, just, just showed up. <laughs> Chili was out on assignments, so Skeletor yeah, had to yeah. take his place. Chili, Chili was doing <laughs> snack snack research, snack and, recon. Yeah, and then Chili didn't tell me that he had uh, acquired the services of Skeletor to be here in his place. Best buddies. Yeah. Best buddies. Got him on for now. <laughs> Well, so so Skeletor was on a show about a holiday, and now this episode is about a holiday as well. And you're here. So Yeah. And it's the holiday of turkeys here in America. So Chili, Chili what do you Chili, what do you know about Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. Yeah. Turkeys. Uh-huh. Friend. You you have participated in an American Thanksgiving before, right? Twice. Yeah. Twice. Yeah, twice. Once while I was in the Texas. Where people shot their guns in celebration at one point. <laughs> in, the, in the Texas. Uh, <laughs> okay. I was in... Uh, um, God damn it, I was thinking of Wisconsin for a second. Uh, Fort Worth. Okay. <laughs> I was in Fort Worth for three months. I, st- I, moved, I visited in November and then came back January. Yeah, Christmas and Thanksgiving were quite scary, but they were fun. Um, there was loads of turkey and stuff. Yeah, that's uh, tur- turkey's right. Gun- guns then, are not an every place thing, Chili. We'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll say that. And then you also okay. participated in a uh, Friendsgiving in Las Vegas yeah. a few years ago during Fan Fest. Which was fun as well. That was a lot of food as well. That food. Um, yeah, so Thanksgiving. When. I, I think I know it, but I don't. I, I, don't, I don't know if most Americans even know the origins or anything of Thanksgiving, so don't feel bad. Like, for most it's Americans, like it's an excuse turkey. to eat a big dinner. It was like the, the natives in uh, America. Yeah, I mean, that's, you're close. close in the in nicest America. way. You're the closest, closest uh, that most people have gotten. <laughs> so Okay. In the nicest way, I think, from what we yeah. can tell in the history. Yeah, they're very like whitewashed. Like this probably didn't happen this way. I can't imagine like a table where there's like pilgrims and Native Americans just happily eating pumpkin pie together. Yeah, I, d- I don't think that was the case. Popcorn was on the table. So <laughs> maize. Wait, yeah, lots maize. of maize. But popcorn really was on the table. So fun fact, not a sad fact. Fun fact. Oh, wait, the fun, I, the fun fact is oh. that popcorn was on the table. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that would have made it to snack facts. Sorry. Uh, but that that's a fun fact about Thanksgiving. Uh, I, was, I almost bought popcorn for this episode as well. I should have. <laughs> the first Thanksgiving. And you wouldn't have known until I said that. But then you would have been like, oh, look. How, how appropriate. But no, it's fine. Yeah. This episode, though, uh, we have snacks. But this time, I'm going to let uh, my good friend Chili go first before we get into what's going on over here. <laughs> so, Chili, what okay. do you got? <laughs> I got some Jacob's mini cheddars. Um, it's I know it's not uh, Thanksgiving food. It, technically, over here, anytime you'll go to like a party or a wedding or any kind of like anything really, like Christmas, you'll often find some sort of Jacob's based snack. Um, they make a lot of snacks, and they all have charming names. Yeah, you got um, cream crackers, which are, are the best crackers you can buy. By the way, they are the best. Uh, buy none but Jacob's cream crackers that I know of. Uh, Bar puffs, I've never tried them. Uh, Twiglets, um, they sound wonderful, 
but trust me, no. They just look uh, like burnt twigs that also taste like burnt. I just like yeah, the describe. Are, twi- are the twiglets the one that are brushed in Marmite? Yes. Oh, all right. No. I mean, they're nice. They're not the worst, but they they don't look that appeasing to anyone. If you if you saw a twiglet, you would not want to try and eat one. But what about a uh, cheeselet? Che- I don't think I've actually seen a cheeselet or a crinkly's. <laughs> I love crinkly's. <laughs> <laughs> the names are great. They're so fun. <laughs> Crinkly's. Uh, we need more whimsical <laughs> snacks in America. Yeah, our our sna- names are too serious. Our snacks go too hard. <laughs> They're just like thick cut wrinkles. They're like, what? No, I don't want that. Get away from I me. I want crinkly's. Yeah, I want crinkly's. They're like, no, <laughs> wavy lays. You're like, no. Crinkly's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was actually looking at the uh, – consider uh, you normally find like a bowl of mini cheddars when you go to somewhere, like, you know, like a Christmas pie or a uh, a birthday thing. I'm actually surprised at how healthy they are for what they are. Hmm. I was, I'm was i looking at the um, – like what you get in them and really shocked. What's going on? So you 25 grams for the pack. Yeah. But there's 15% saturates and 10% of your salt for the day oh, just boy. in this tiny little bag. Hmm. Are they like? I mean, it's, are really they tasty? Cool I mean, we'll find out. All right. So that means why Chili is eating his Jacob's mini cheddars. I will read you snack facts. Jacob's makes other whimsical snacks such as cream crackers, butter puffs, twiglets, cheeselets, and crinklies. We may have been reading from the snack facts as we yeah. were chatting. Not to <laughs> once again break the immersion of the podcast yeah. here. Way to, way, way to go, producer. <laughs> Like well, snack- I mean, you could look at things before we start, so you kind of have an idea, so you don't reread shit that we've already read. Yeah, but then I didn't have a snack fact. <laughs> <laughs> like I was sometimes like, there's a lot of snack facts. Sometimes not so much. You could have just you could you could have given just us like some that tweets. Jeez. <laughs> like I got now, I'm gonna look up Jacob's <laughs> snacks. <laughs> At least give me like I Jacob mean, snacks started in like something. Give me something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I'm having another one. Why are you talking? Here, look. I went to the wiki page. <laughs> Snack See, facts. this is truly a Thanksgiving episode because it's just two people bitching at each other over a, over a meal. Here, the originator of Jacob's brand uh, name was a small biscuit bakery, W and R Jacob, founded in 1851 in Bridge Street, Waterford, Ireland. They're Irish by William Beale Jacob and his brother Robert. Uh, it later moved to Bishop Street in Dublin, Ireland, and then and with a factory in Peters Row, a factory in Aintree, Liverpool. It was opened in 1914. Jacob Bishop Street premises was one of the first, uh, one of the several prominent Dublin buildings occupied by rebels during the Easter Rising in 1916. That's really cool. Why wasn't that the snack fact? <laughs> You're just like, the snack fact, they have other snacks. <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> yeah, but like, I want to make sure the name Crinkly's gets on the show. Uh, you could have put that in there after the, like, the cool thing that they were, like, like they had their whole building like occupied by rebels during the Easter rising of 1916. <laughs> like, no, Jacobs, they make other shit. <laughs> I don't see you doing any research for this show, sir. I, I mean, all I, I could just be going to Wikipedia before the show starts and see, like, there's a stack man. Uh, and that sadly, Jacobs. <laughs> uh, so sadly, Jacobs does not have a very strong Twitter presence. No, and also they were they were uh, they had acquisitions. Uh, United Biscuits and Jacob Fr- Fruit Filled Food Company have sparred over quarter over the Jacobs brand name. So there's been some legal trouble with Jacobs as well. Yeah. So, and in 2009, after 156 years of making biscuits in Ireland, Jacob Fruit Filled shut his tail uh, to log it plant of 220 jobs were lost and the company retained about 100 staff in a variety of roles. That's pretty interesting. Jacobs has a long history over there, Chili. And so. they make great, delicious mini cheddars. Yeah. Seriously. Oh, it looks like Nabisco bought their plant back in like 1982. There's a lot going on here. Kraft is involved in Malaysia with Jacobs. There's a lot going on here. Like Jacobs is doing some work. 
Well, I guess we could spend the rest of this episode talking about Jacobs and not have to deal with the disgusting. Nope. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's what. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the disgusting uh, thing that no, we're no, going to no. be. Yeah, but instead, let's hear what Chili thinks of Jacobs' mini cheddars. Chili, um, what, uh, what are they? What's going on over there? Are they good? Do you do a scale of one to ten on the show? We, you produce it. You know we do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking for the audience. I, I think so. I think you've listened to them before. <laughs> I don't think I don't think Chili said one descriptive factor about the cheddar first before he's rated it. So again, Chili, uh, what do you think it tastes like? <laughs> what do you think is going on there, flavor wise? Okay. At first, it hits you with like a small salty flavor, which is kind of nice. It's more like a, um, I don't want to say like a normal salt, but it's kind of like a sea salt type flavor than an actual. Uh-huh. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. And then afterwards, you get the crunch, and then you get like a cream cheese flavor. I wouldn't say like a cheddar, but like a like a cream cheese more than anything. It's good enough because it's a nicer hit, but not potent that it's like overpowering. The because it's like a mix of salty and cheese, which I know it sounds weird, but it's, it's kind of nice when you put it together. Are you supposed to have them just on their own, or are they meant to be dipped in stuff? I mean, you can often put them on. Yeah, you can not. Oh, uh, well, words. <laughs> <laughs> I broke chili. Yeah, can you dip them in stuff? I off what? what? Get no. that? Get that compute? <laughs> dip them. Oh, chill, shit. Shut down. It's like his brain broke for a second. He's like, "Holy shit!" I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Dipping them. <laughs> well, I don't have anything to dip them into, but I guess, like, I don't. Um, tri- 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 <laughs> it's like, like, the, con- <laughs> the concept's hurting him. <laughs> I know. <laughs> In America, we like a dip. We like to dip things in other things. <laughs> like, yeah, like like uh, uh, I don't even know what you would dip these in. You need, I mean, like they're cheddar, so maybe like a sour cream dip, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I think they'd have a powder. They don't have or that like one of those flavor. like spinach artichoke dips. I feel like if you dip them in anything, it would probably overpower them because they only have like a small like. It's a strongish flavor, but it doesn't last long. Are they like so, a cheese? It? Probably. I got, I got to look up a, just a straight picture of these things. Hold on. Jacob's mini cheddars. No, they're not like a cheese. it They're they're a cracker. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah it kind of looks like it's only light cheese flavor built into this cracker. <laughs> it's funny. Like your I, I, your description is oddly enough what the cracker looks like. <laughs> Like you can tell, there's like a light cheese, like coating on this. Like, I can see why. Yeah. Now, do you think this would be paired? Like, do you think? Uh, and now you said like sometimes there's like Jacob snacks around Christmas. Like, do you do you think? Yeah. Uh, mini cheddars are served around Christmas. Maybe. Yeah, I would say so. Do you think they make their way onto like a charcuterie board, like meats and and grapes and jellies? Yeah. And <laughs> All right. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, that seems nice. Yeah. They're baked in real cheese, by the way, supposedly. So okay, that's, that's like one that. of their advertisement things. I will say we can't we can't put like a like a cheese it on a charcuterie board unless you're doing like a real cheap charcuterie. Board. <laughs> you're like here's yeah, some, I mean, yeah, but here's some Slim Jims, <laughs> yeah, cheese it's and uh, a Smucker's <laughs> jelly packet. <laughs> I mean, you won't see a load of them, but you know, you might see a little bit probably. You know, like Jacob's crackers, you'll probably see them on it. Yeah, because Walmart, Walmart says they're is. out of stock. So at some point, Walmart had these. So really, it looks like it. Over it a looks, decade ago, when yeah. one shipment accidentally made it, made, to it made it made it to America <laughs> in the middle of like Milwaukee, <laughs> like, <laughs> and somebody was like, "These are pretty good. I'm buy back buy more." <laughs> That's my Milwaukee accent. For Nailed people. it. I smoked with them over when I was there. <laughs> like I see, going around to different walmarts and like planting them there so chili also i see that they they make other flavors of mini cheddars and one of them is called branston pickle <laughs> yeah <laughs> that sounds like pickle a dance cheese. yeah the, <laughs> there's get your get your best gal and do the branston pickle yeah, yeah da, 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 da. they do they have a barbecue <laughs> flavor pickle Baked mini cheddars, baking them now. They got them all. Yeah. Huh. 
Those, are, those are stoned mini chairs. <laughs> I'm sorry, stoned. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> There was a, uh, I'm guessing a hot, like a fiesta line where they had lime and chili mini cheddars, nacho cheese and jalapeno. Oh, that nice for a while. Chipotle chicken wing. That sounds like up your alley because it was the hottest one. Yeah. Huh. And Stilton. I feel like Stilton is also up your, up your uh, alley. Stilton is lovely. I love Stilton cheese. Yeah. They had Stilton mini cheddars. It's, it's interesting. so hard to find anything but the basic mini cheddars. Yeah. If I'm honest. Kraken. There's a lot of like like different mini cheddar things. Smoky barbecue. There's mini cheddar. Military jack. Yeah. Mil- military jack? Is that what you Mil- Military jack? <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't know military jack, Susan? He's a great guy. <laughs> is that is that another wow alt? <laughs> it's Chili's Death Knight. <laughs> military <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Stilton is Chili's mage. (laughs) 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 All right. So let's let's hear Chili's rating for Jacob's mini cheddars. I like how I'm normally we okay. um, (laughs) I know she took over the whole show. Whatever she wants. Uh, Eight. Eight out of ten, because uh, I don't know that. When I saw that, I know I'm not really into the health stuff, but when I saw how bad they are, considering how small the packets are, that was a shocker to me, considering how much you'll eat. I mean, I've eaten three of them already, and we've only just started. I'm probably going to eat most of this entire bag while we record this podcast. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a small bag. Yeah, I can I hold know, it with I one see. hand. Yeah, yeah, and I, I have tiny hands. And you, yeah, you do have small hands. <laughs> yeah, I, I see. I see the bags. They're not big, like, but that's a lot of no. go, that's a lot going on in that little bag. I wonder if it's because yeah. of the cheese and they salt the crack. It's probably why they're delicious sauce. Yeah, <laughs> let's be real. It's probably why yeah, they're it's delicious. It's dried cheese on it. So. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. It's percent dried cheese on it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, after, after going hard on some burritos, there's about twelve percent dried cheese on my me at some point. Don't worry. <laughs> so yeah, I would give these a uh, actually I'll give an eight out of ten. All right, yeah, All right. it sounds pretty good. Yeah. All right, well, uh, I don't I don't currently have the bag here with me, uh, but uh, and if there was a, a proper name for them, then uh, I would tell you, but. Uh, they are called uh, Turkey Dinner Candy Corn. They're made by the Brock's company. Uh, oh, yeah. Purveyors of uh, uh, various corns, candy corns. Of other corns, <laughs> of other of other confectioner types. Uh, and uh, they made a turkey dinner flavored one, and I'm not thrilled about it. Uh, so it's not it's not one candy corn that is turkey dinner flavors. It is six different candy corns mm-hmm. in one bag that... Compre- uh, like complete the whole dinner of candy. Yeah, that are a comprehensive uh, Thanksgiving comprehensive. meal. <laughs> oh. Oh. So uh, there's six flavors on my plate here, uh, and and Susan's doing this with me because I had so uh, Peter and I have the same same plate, plate with the same, same layout plate. of candy corn. So when this episode is posted, we'll post the pictures so you guys can follow along in our horrificness yeah. but uh yeah. the six flavors that are in the turkey dinner candy corn are green beans yeah uh-huh. roasted turkey not great cranberry sauce could be good ginger glazed carrots who knows sweet potato pie sounds like it'd be delicious and stuffing <laughs> well so we have six candy corns one of each of these flavors yeah i'm not very excited about this I, I bought the bag for Why the would you Thanksgiving. Be? <laughs> I bought the bag for the Thanksgiving episode, not realizing that I would be a guest on it and have to participate in this as well. So this, this backfired on me a little bit. <laughs> because uh, just full disclosure, uh, a coworker at my my job brought this in, so I've had already eaten them, and I I, I came up and said I will not do this. Uh, I almost threw up at work. That's how bad these are. So, so I this I, is going to be your Plowman's lunch moment. 
Probably. Perhaps. <laughs> it depends. I, mean, I am hoping that I, I, I had a big breakfast, so it's going to go one of 50. It's going to go one of two ways. And you're rather going to hear me barf live or I'm going to hold it down like a champ. Uh, well, you do have not, a garbage can in your office handy. So I'll, I'll leave it I, and I'll leave it into the show. So just everybody knows if you don't want to. <laughs> if you just hear me go. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, so uh, reading off the snack facts, these candy corns were only available at Walgreens locations. Mm-hmm. So I had to go to three different Walgreens to find a bag of these. You the first much, store put too much clerk, work in finding these. <laughs> the first store, the clerk didn't know what I was talking about. Yeah. Even second clerk, they're like, "Oh yeah, we got a bunch, but we sold them out like immediately." And then the third store, there was only one bag left, so I snagged the very last bag. Yeah, I'm not thrilled. I'll be honest, I had that trouble last year when I was trying to find a snack I wanted to try because of the weirdness of it. Um, <sighs> Iceland, which is like a uh, supermarket here. They no, had Christmas you. tree flavored crisps. Yeah, I feel like you've talked about those quite a few times on various I want them. podcasts. They're sold out. <laughs> they supposedly taste like pine. That's interesting. I can't. <laughs> no. And like, uh, so all these tur- uh, turkey dinner candy corn bags have sold out in all the Walgreens, but I can't imagine anyone's buying them because they enjoy them. It's more of just a gross out, like, yeah. I want to like make my family suffer during the holidays kind of situation yeah because i i did some research looked up reviews and none of them are good like there's there's really no redeeming qualities i see in these candy corns i haven't tried any yet so i can't you know i can't say anything yet but we're gonna peter and i are gonna go through this together and try these gross candy corns and chili gets to be our our witness and enjoy our, our suffering yeah so we have six candy corns. Yeah. We're not too sure of all the flavors because like one is green, one is red, and then the other four are like various <laughs> shades of brown and yellow and orange. So I'm not sure what's what. I'm going to guide us through this experience. Okay, uh, thank you. <laughs> so, Chili, do you have a preference of what we started in of those uh, six flavors? Uh, let me go check the flavors again because I have them open. Um. I, I, I don't know. I'll, I, I, I'll be honest with you. If you that? say like one of the brown ones, I'm not going to be able to tell you which is the, exactly is which. I would say <laughs> like we know the what gr- the green bean is because there's one green one, and we know what the I would eat all the green is. beans first because it's veg, and I'd save the best for later. Oh, okay, uh, sure. <laughs> we'll, we'll do that, I guess. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna we're gonna try the green bean one. Uh, first. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll pop pop the green one. And I'm smelling it. There's no, there's, there's no, there's no discernible, discern- none of yeah, them. No discernible did. smell, which is good. Ugh. All right, All right. Gr- green one's going to my mouth. <laughs> Doing it. Biting down. Not great. No. Nope. Oh, this is so gross. Not good. <laughs> oh, it's, it's sweet green bean. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Ew. This is so- All right. Ugh. <laughs> Nope, you got swallowed. It's, it. the, it's like so disgusting. Like it is so unpleasant. Ugh. Did you swallow? Yeah. I want to try these so badly oh. now, but I can't. Even. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. It's stuck in your teeth. It's so bad. All right. Ugh. Ugh. Zero. zero. <laughs> yeah. Zero. 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 So yeah. I'm, I'm gonna rate every one of these flavors. Okay. okay. You know what? Uh, maybe I'll hold off because maybe maybe like that'll just based on each. <laughs> like, a, like, so right now we're at a zero. <laughs> Let's see if but, anything can redeem that. By the way, do you have any water nearby? Uh, I have orange juice and some coffee. So yeah, we do have beverages to cleanse our palate. Uh, so you cl- cleanse your palates. I think coffee Plowlet. is probably the yeah. Plow it. Burn plow the it. flavor away. <laughs> plow, plow it. Show title. Plow, plow it. Plow it. Plow, plow it cleanser. <laughs> uh, all right. So there's uh, so there's the one that is br- brown with like an off gray bottom. Do you see that so one? So, Chili, if you look at the picture in the uh, sound bites chat in our, okay. our thread or whatever, like – you see those those four brown ones that are all very similar. I, actually, I can tell you because you posted the picture, so I can tell you exactly which one to pop. I'm guessing top red is um, cranberry. 
Yeah. So the one that was right next to uh, the green one, we're going to go next. All right. Okay. So we're going to do that. We don't know what it is. It could be either roasted turkey. It could be ginger glazed carrots. It could be sweet potato pie or it could be stuffing. Uh, so I'm going to go with turkey. Uh, you think I, it's turkey? I'm, I'm kind of hoping it's turkey. Well, I'm kind of hoping uh, – I'm kind of yeah. hoping sweet potato pie because I yeah, think – like from the colors, I really uh, I, 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 I think ginger and glazed then, carrot and sweet potato stuff. pie might be the two <laughs> – like out of the brown ones, I think sweet potato pie and, and ginger glazed carrot might be the two like least worst things. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. yeah, this has no smell. Ugh, yeah, no smell. They're, none of them are going to – all right, ready? One. I'm yeah. hoping it's turkey. Uh, <laughs> Three. Uh, oh, uh-uh. Yeah, it's turkey. Oh, uh, yes! Ugh. I know my weirdly colored items. Uh. <laughs> ah. Ugh. Uh. It's so, so gross to have oh. that taste in the candy. <laughs> but it really does, like, you know it's roasted turkey as soon as you taste it. Like, they've nailed the flavor, but there's no reason to have that flavor in the candy. It's so gross. Uh, 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 it's like mainlining just a big, a <laughs> shitty jar of gravy. Uh, oh, my uh, God. That sounds amazing. No. It's so, <laughs> no, so bad. It's so bad, Shelly, because it's supposed to be savory, but it's too sweet. Like, because candy corn in America is super sweet. It's just like sugar. Okay. So it's oh, like, and we have four more of these to try. Oh, <laughs> God. I just want everybody listening to this to know my eyes are watering. I'm not enjoying myself at all. Oh, garbage. It, okay. and, and even though I hate this, I'm glad that because I did it, that means Peter has to do it. And that makes me happy. Again. Because <laughs> part of Thanksgiving is, is gently suffering with your loved ones. So uh, mission accomplished here. Suffering together. Uh, yeah. All right. Can we – let's go to the next brown one. Like not the one underneath that one. Yeah, let's go the one Which underneath. One? The one underneath. So one uh, so okay. bot, bottom so, middle is what we're I doing. I would say that's stuffing. Bottom middle. Yeah, I'm hoping it's stuffing. So the one that's brown and yellow. Yes, yeah. the one that's so brown. So this could either be ginger glaze, carrots, sweet potato pie, or stuffing. Mm-mm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's – Stuffing. I'm going stuffing. <laughs> Chili. So far, Chili's been right on me, so let's see. All right. No smell. No. All right. Here we go. Uh-oh. It's stuffing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes! Uh-huh. <laughs> I am the master! <laughs> oh. Chili's oh. discovered a superpower. It's identifying miscellaneous candy corns. What the flavors are. <laughs> I thought these yeah. weren't even real, to be honest. I thought Candy Corn was the TV thing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's real, uh, and, it's a, and it's a punishment. It's so gross, because you, like, taste, like, celery and, it's like, onion. Like, like, it really does taste like stuffing. Uh, so bad! It's I mean, so bad. It, it sounds like it's really well done, though. You might, it, it, might insult them, but they, but they, they, sound they like really are, like, identifiable flavors. Like... The problem is someone put a lot of work into making these for no good reason. They're done well, That's said, right? They're they don't done. need. To, they shouldn't exist. There's no reason that these need to exist in the world. They're gross. Chili. The problem is that they are done well. The other problem is that they're sweet. Like that's the thing. like you don't yeah. want sweet turkey and sweet stuff. You want savory, delicious, salty turkey. Is candy corn actually made of corn? By the way. No. no wait. Maybe like, like <laughs> corn syrup. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, Ugh. Ugh. Okay. <sighs> okay. So what now, what does the picture of Wikipedia look like? Teeth, the candy corn. Well, uh, they do look like teeth. Yeah, corn looks like teeth, to be honest. <laughs> but the idea is that it looks like a corn kernel. Like if you look at like a whole kernel okay. of corn, it looks like that. So that's. Uh... Yeah, I knew that. That's what I thought. It's just like all right, like glaze. I'm hoping. Let's go to the orangey one. So I'm we know that the, the red one, one is cranberry sauce. So we'll save that for last because that, okay. that at least that's like a flavor that should be sweet. So, so our two remaining options are ginger glazed carrot, which and sweet potato fine, pie. Because normally carrots, like ginger glazed carrots, are usually like sweet in some sort of ways. And so, chili, looking at our picture, we got bottom, Ugh. bottom. Right and bottom left. Which one should we go for? And what uh, do you think? I, it I is feel like bottom left is going to be the carrot. 
No, I I feel like that's sweet potato pie. But okay, we'll we'll go bottom left. We'll go bottom left. You're doubting chili. All right. <laughs> I might be wrong. I I I can't be wrong. Believe in yourself, chili. We we believe in you. <laughs> All right. Okay. So ahead. so bottom left. Bottom left. Okay. Again, no smell. I guess this is a ginger glazed carrot. I I don't know. I guess it is because I guess it's like a more of a ginger flavor than a carrot flavor. I don't know because that could be sweet potato pie. Yeah. I think it's sweet potato pie. I don't know. All right. I mean, I mean, it's just it's mainly ginger is what I'm tasting, but that could be in the. Sweet but potato. it's not bad as the compared to the other yeah. three. Compared to have? the other ones, it's fine. Like it, I wouldn't seek this out ever, but it's 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 okay, I guess. But based on what I'm having on my plate, not not the not the worst thing. This yeah, I, not I, horrible. Like this would. Yeah, get I, like I still a don't two. know if that's the ginger glazed carrots or sweet potato pie. This is like a two. Like this isn't terrible. Like like if like I wouldn't seek this out. But if somebody handed me this, I'm like, it's not that bad. It's like better than a normal candy corn. So. All right. Like so I, the other brown one. Might be sweet potato pie or it might be or, <laughs> carrots. carrots. So let's find out. Go into my yeah. mouth. Put it in your mouth. Ew. I guess this one is the ginger glazed carrot. Yeah, this is the ginger glazed carrot. Oh, yeah. It's the yeah. carrot. <laughs> Ugh. Hey, I, I saw oh. most of them. See, and I thought that like sweet potato pie would be good, but that one was like, wow. Like, ugh. But these are even worse. It's like sweet potato pie is good. No, no, no. Sweet like potato, this, it's this not just ginger it's glazed not, carrot. It's like medicinal <laughs> tasting. Yeah, it tastes like medicine. <laughs> Ooh, it, I kind of like that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it does taste like like some sort of ginger. Because oh, like the ginger sweet potato juice. pie one had a ginger taste, but like in kind of a pleasant way, where this has a ginger taste and it's like mm. like medicine of some the, kind. The sweet potato one was, it was a sweet potato taste with cinnamon and then like the cream. And that's what the pie, like the white yeah. part was, was like the whipped cream. And that's why that one yeah. was good. You say good, but it really wasn't. Compared wasn't to everything good. else. Compared to everything else, sure, but it's the bar is so low. One, I said the, that one gets a score. That's a two. That one's a two. Compared to like <laughs> everything else was like trash tier or hot fire garbage in my mouth. That's oh. a two. All right. So the very last one we no, have I is the red I one. Work out. Uh, couldn't work it. What? I was just thinking of like mashed potato when you said sweet potato pie. No. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Yeah. Are sweet potatoes not really a thing in your neck of the woods, chili? <laughs> not really, no. I love sweet um, potatoes. Orange foods don't exist over there, uh, much like pumpkin uh, sweet potatoes don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, so they're far, a thing, but not really a thing. No. So All for right. our very last one, we have this cranberry sauce one, which yeah. hopefully will be okay. Let's let's All give right. a whirl. Round of applause. That's, that's fine. Round of applause. Bad flavor. Good. Ugh, it's still gross, though. Nope. Delightful. It's got a little bit of cranberry, a little bit of sweet. There's a little bit of tart there. Best flavor. Eh. You know what it tastes like? I know what it tastes like. I'm, I'm giving a round of applause. I won't stop. It tastes like... Um, <laughs> it, tastes okay. like pop, it tastes like Pop-Tart feeling. And that's great. If you like Pop-Tarts, go get that. Just eat that flavor out of the bag. And maybe the sweet potato one, but don't get this. It's terrible. It'll it'll make you sick. I almost threw up a couple twice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's not. It's not good. The cranberry one is the best flavor. But uh, if you if you want to bring this to a family gathering and make your yeah. family gross things, then this is the perfect bag of of treats. Especially rocks. Like, I Turkey say, dinner candy corn. I would say don't even, tell, don't even tell them what it is. Just put it in like a little jar and leave it on the table. Watch them go at it. Well, and, uh, uh, yeah, to eat these in combination, like if you grab like a handful, bleh, to have all those flavors together, get a whole, get a whole dinner going. Ugh, nasty. That's it's stuck in my teeth. Um, if I had to rate these individually, uh, uh, cranberry five all day. Cranberry's got a five all day. It's 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 redeemable. 
uh, out of this whole bag on its own. I would I would say like I don't even like regular candy corn, but the cranberry one is better than regular candy corn. So it still gets a five. Uh, the sweet potato one gets a two. Everything else gets a trash tier. It's a zero. It's don't even seek those out. Uh, and if you do get this, play a prank on your family. That's what I would say. Uh, yeah, that's the only reason to get them is to, be, to torture people you dislike. <laughs> yeah, the cranberry one though is to, to me like my palate. It's it's good. There's something there. Like if they said they made a cranberry, like if they took the sauce up and just said cranberry candy corn, I'd eat it. I think that's good. I don't think I, I mean, it's not like I'd seek it out, but if it was around and someone said you want some of this cranberry candy corn, I wouldn't say no. So uh, I just think uh, like you can't see me right now, but I'm just making a sad face. You, like they're just they're just you gross. like no no you like the trash tier candy corn pumpkins. So you're I I like regular candy corn, and I really love the uh, the harvest pumpkins, like the just chalkier candy corns that it's, are pumpkin shaped. Those are gross too. Uh, they're not good. Can, like candy corn is not a good candy. It's not good. It's see, I I I like regular candy corn. You like so, nana uh, candies though. You're. F- I do like nana candies because I'm a nana. Yeah, if you want to know, like I like a Werther's <laughs> original. <laughs> I like Werther's original cream with like a little swirl of cream in there. Those are great. Uh, I, I like a butterscotch candy. Uh, yeah, you like she likes you know those little strawberry candies, the strawberry like the wrapper that looks like a little strawberry. She'll eat those, like probably. Uh you know what I'm talking about, the ones you get at the dollar store. <laughs> <laughs> Pick and make stores. Yeah. <laughs> It's one of those like cheapo candies. The like pound, ever, pound land. You ever see like the old uh-huh. grocery stores that had like the get a scoop of candy for a nickel? That's those candies. She likes those. <laughs> <laughs> we still have those here at uh, Wilco's. Oh, well, Susan would be the whitest. Uh, yeah. If you pop into Wilco's, <laughs> you get like a little, uh, there's like a load of like, like, like tubs, well, like jars of candy. And then you get a little scoop and you get a little bag. Then you can pour the pull them into the little bag and then weigh them and then that's how much they cost. Yeah. Well, we did it. <sighs> yeah. On yeah, this, so uh, on this Thanksgiving like, sized episode of Sound Bites, we did it. Yeah. Did you want to read some of the reviews that I found on these candy? Like, oh, I could not find oh, any redeeming. Please. <laughs> any even redeeming. T- <laughs> even 20 cents is too much to spend on these. So they got clearly got them on a discount. They are awful, says uh, Instagram user. They are awful. Don't waste your money, says Amazon purchaser. I'm not even sure rats or pigeons would eat them, Amazon purchaser. They're not good. They're they, <laughs> no, they're bad. They almost came back up a second time. Ugh. Ugh. All right. Uh, ugh. <laughs> zero uh, out of ten. Not great. Uh, if you're buying a whole bag, yeah, it's a zero out of ten. If you just pick out the cranberry ones, it's a five. If you, if you still not worth it. It's it's not worth the cost. If if you were throwing these for free, cranberry all day. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's where that's where I'm at. So with that, uh, we hope you have a safe and wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, you know, be safe out there. If you're going to go shopping, you know, be safe about it. If you're not going to go shopping, uh, listen to this. And if you like us and you're in a, you're in a place where you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, Go get a go get yourself a bag of uh, Jacob's mini cheddars. Those sound way better than what we just ate. So <laughs> definitely, yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving, and if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, uh, happy whatever Thursday thing, towards Thurs- the end of November. Yeah, happy last yeah. Thursday of the month. You, you beautiful person, you, you little cutie. All right, well. <laughs> Well, with that said, have a wonderful time, everybody, and we thank you for joining us for Sound Bites. Have a good one. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.